Hello everybody, Dawn here. Just got done doing a little bit of admin cleanup on the server. And before I do anything, we're going to get a survival kit on the flying toaster. Something I should have done last night. I'm going to grab this one because it doesn't have anything attached to it. And I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy with this, and I'm just going to stick it on the side of the batteries. Um, nope. Goes this way. Okay, there's that. And then... Yeah, I'm thinking of just slapping it up there for now. Um... And as was pointed out to me, the issue with uh, my conveyors not working is I'm a dummy face, and conveyors need power. So the conveyor ports in the cargo boxes couldn't work because I had my batteries on recharge. So, yep, big old dummy face. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we go this way, and then that way. Okay, so we have a respawn point now. Now, I've done the admin cleanup, so any grids that I see, minus some small grids and stuff that uh, I'm not confident with trash cleanup um, to figure out. Oh, yes. And just in case this is needed, we need to rename this. Because um, I forgot to do that last night. We need to name this The Buggy of Shame. Uh... Info, not the bad rover. Buggy of shame. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I don't need to use that. Auto. Rusters on. Unlocked. And any direction is equally as good. So we're just going to head this way. So the priority is thruster. We need a hydro thruster. I think this is just fences. Just fences. Okay. Turn off my braking thrust. And let's just go. Now, there are some scattered, like, disconnected blocks and stuff. Because, um, again, I'm not fully confident on my abilities to do the trash cleanup without causing more problems for myself. And I've been watching quite a bit of content on the space side, and I am super excited to get up there. Um, and hopefully I don't die too many times, because uh, a lot of the ships up in space seem to be armed. They seem to have teeth to them. 
and I have not handled the ground-based threats very well. And it's just been the, like, the occasional, like, um... And yes, I realize it just said, like, multiple times in that sentence. Um... <laughs> The threats that I've dealt with down here so far is just the occasional uh, interior turret uh, in some of the uh, sheds. And as we saw in last night's video, or the video that I recorded last night, didn't handle that well at all. Um, and the jetpack functions in space, but it's still very anemic. Which definitely adds to the challenge because you can't just do the uh, the zip and zoom strategy. Of uh, avoiding all of the incoming fire. So this should be brand new. Not sure exactly what that is. Looks like a service station. is not going to have a thruster, most likely. But we could get some battery components out of it. Just going to land, turn off the thrusters. That will limit the amount of power. And it will still allow my cargo boxes to work. Now, you should have some power cells. Yes. You said five power cells. Yeah. And storage shelf one and one. Nothing in you. This could potentially get me some better tools. Everything's empty here. Super odd. Um, I will grind them down. They've got some good bits. Come out here, see what we have. A hydrogen container. Need those motors. Now, everything should be functioning because the ship power is on, so it should convey stuff through. Uh, I thought that was a thruster. No. Not a thruster, it's a uh, spotlight. Don't actually think that had any motors in it, but you will have canvas. And then... You had some motors. Hydrogen bottle. Um, gyro, I'm gonna leave. And I want to maximize kind of the number of POIs that I hit. What do we have here? We got a little, little van. Red truck. Oh no, that's a plane. Yes, you might have a thruster on you. Uh, this van has a car. Ooh, survival kit. Hmm, do we need another survival kit? 
Hey, there we go. There's the last thruster that I need. Mag plate you to the side. Okay, now I have all directions. Uh, you are a large Atmo thruster. Ooh, do I need large Atmo thruster right now? I probably don't. That would probably be extraneous. Um, oh, yes, and somebody mentioned in the comments about the unknown signals potentially having tools in them. We have not hit one of these in a while. We'll go check it out. We should be able to get to it long before it detonates. And then uh, I think we might just head home and start building the spacecraft. Now, if I find a crane, I will definitely stop for a crane. Because that has, I've seen several of them in the cockpits almost always have tools in them. And I think the last crane I did, I forgot to go into the cockpit. So I wasted an opportunity to get better tools. Okay, hopefully this is not a booby-trapped one that's going to blow up as soon as I get up here. Push the button. Leopard drill. Rid of the battery. Yeah, enhanced drill. Okay. And then... I thought that would have had some... Um, parachute in it. Or canvas. I would like to remember to put a parachute um, on the spacecraft. Just in case things don't go right and then I can... Hopefully, safely relanded. Oh, I can clean up my GPS. Uh, three times battery, you're gone. Delete you, delete you. Power tower. Uh, toaster we can get rid of. Survival kit? Where was survival kit? 10 kilometers. I'm going to delete that one as well. And our tower ISO we're going to keep. Home base is 5.2 this way. And if we see anything amazing on the way home, we may stop. pop-ups right there uh, what is that is that a shed service station I think it's a service station I think that's a service station I already went to Yes, that's the one I've already gone to. 
Now, what has been um, suggested is for me to actually rename the POIs uh, to like scrap or junk or something, or please delete. Uh, so that way it makes it easier when I'm doing my server cleanup. But hopefully now that I have this last thruster that I need, I will be leaving Satrius or Certus or whatever the name of this place is. Maybe not this episode, but hopefully by the end of the next episode, we will be up in space. We'll have to see how much um, how much hydrogen I actually have, and then how much ice I have left, because I'm gonna want to have some spare ice. Probably not a huge quantity of it, uh, but I would like to have at least a bit. on the other side. Grab this. Come over this way. Just drop that. make sure that this is off. Not that it's going to go anywhere. It's not connected to any type of uh, hydrogen source right now. Uh, but just, just to make sure that when it does get on a powered ship that it doesn't cause me any problems. We have that. Let's grab these other ones. And sounds and looks like we have a sandstorm coming in. So for the sake of the video, we are going to get rid of the weather. Which won't be a problem anymore once we get up in space. Okay, um, we are going to need to... I will probably salvage bits off of the crane truck as much as I don't want to. Um, if I wind up like completely destroyed up in space and my only respawn is back here... I would much rather have the toaster than the crane at this point in the game. So, we need to figure out where I can fit a survival kit in here. I think I want to keep those just for the aesthetic of it. Um, oxygen tank. Do we need a large small grid oxygen tank? Or do we get by with just uh, just the O2 H2 gen? Because we're going to need a survival kit As much as I like the bed here, uh, I think the bed is going to be in the way. 
Oh, we are going to have to get rid of those axles because that's going to interfere with the air tightness of the craft. So what I think I can do is get rid of these, this, and this, and then rebuild the bed kind of here. So that way I have a walkway to the back part of the vessel. This would be the door. That mag plate needs to come out. Plate, come out. Grinding more than I wanted to. We have a mag plate here that's got to come out. Better one here. And we get the plushy. Uh, so yeah. Seat out. Get that out of there. We might put these back in a different location. Uh, but we need to make sure that this cabin is airtight. So we're going to need... Not you guys. We're going to need that one. Um, block tools, nope, character tools. Get the drill there. And then all blocks, we need that one, that one. Light armor slope two by one tip. What is this? Light armor slope base. Okay. They're there. Rotate that way. Get this all welded back up. That way I see what holes I might have. First obvious hole is right here. Fine with that. Uh, that one is going to be which one is that one? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, I'm fine with that. Windows. Okay, window. That is which one's probably 
Well, I don't even have to guess. I just have to look at it. Window one by two slope. stuff for some blocks. Now, six we need... Right there. Then you are a window one by two side left, so we're gonna need the one by two side right. But we need one more window there. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Five block center. Window one by two. Side right. That. Yeah, that's it there. And then light armor slope tip. Sideways orientation. There. Then that's going to be open and then half block there there we will change this transition that now we need window not the slope We need one by two flat. Probably in here. Nope, that's not it. One by two flat. There we go. Need more girders. Yeah. Energy low. Oh no, my energy's low. Five. There, there. 
there. <laughs> Ladder. Um... Probably will put those back on. But I want to keep this top open for possible turret placement. Oh, yeah, that's half blocked there. Um, you need to come out. You need out this one and this one. block is that going to be? Um, no. Get your finger off the button, Don. I think I'm done with Energy those. Block is that going to be? That one. There we go. That might be the first time I've ever used this block. But that's exactly what it's used for. Now, five. There. We got solar power. Oh, geez, 20, 20 points of health gone. Wow. Apparently, Satrius is a uh, more hostile of a planet than I expected. What block is that? That is one of these ones. That is that block exactly. Uh, yep. 
front. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Everything's good there. A few more bits here. For the balanced aesthetic, this should be windows as well. They're not going to be as, like... Definitely don't think they're going to have as much hit points. Why do those look shaded and those don't? Now, okay, we need to figure the bed out. Then this is half blocks. One, two, three, four, five. That is one, two, three, four, five. And we will get it textured. Uh, and then this is panels. Uh, let's see, I should probably get the coloration here, um, and then I don't think I'm going to be able to do the, the railing there. Maybe, maybe I can. That could, that could cause some issues. No, I can, I can just pop in and out there. Uh, okay. P, we need cow texture. Um... White. No. Um. <clears throat> e. Uh. Heavy rust. Those windows are on backwards. Let's just do that. Um, another sandstorm coming in. This is why I use the paint gun. Um, Then we had none. 
No, not that. Uh, weldless. There. Uh, and then wood texture. Carbon fiber, corrugated. Wood. Oh, I don't have the DLC. Um, okay. So... See what we can do with uh, light armor panel. that way. Face left. Get you there. Not center. Blanket, and then we need the like that. Now this is definitely going to need a recoloring. <laughs> um, weldless. Go with a gray. there and then we had white right there and then we had cow flash there A cow blanket? Um... We have a pillar. Um... Ooh. Did I do that? No, it sticks out too much. Um, uh, 
Uh, what is the block I'm looking for here? That. my flat panel. The very first one. Make it look like it's kind of like curled over there. Uh, and then... Actually need to get rid of that one. So the plushie can go on there. Uh, do I get the plushie back? I'm going to save it. Do I have a plushie in my inventory? Yes, I do. Perfect. Plushie. And then you need to be gold. Green Bay colors. There we go. We got green, and we have kind of a gold color. Best I can Energy do, at least. Low. Charge back up. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta replace my windows. That is the right orientation. Everything's clear. Got to be careful of hitboxes here. That's in the way. Put that there and there. Now we need a door. Have for small grid doors. Ooh, 
Okay, what am I gonna... How wide is this thing? Okay, that will fit now. We need more bits there. Um, not the cow armor. Um, battered armor? I'm going to be, have to be super careful because this thing is going to be completely impractical for, impractical for combat. All components successfully withdrawn. I like to hear that. Okay, door is welded up. Now, this is not an airlock. So, we do have room here to do an airlock. And I think it would be beneficial to have an airlock. Uh, yes, this is one more over. And yes, we have another sandstorm coming in. Because I want to do stuff where I need to be able to see. So the game is like, no, this is why you can't have nice stuff. Um, now. Ooh, I just had a thought. Um... Extend that out to here. You there. There. in the way of that door. Am I missing materials or is something in the way? Fit it here.
Um, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Maybe this thing? I mean, that shouldn't be doing it. Oh, the windows. Ah. Aha! That makes sense. So now I have a little pressurized box for an air vent. Or I will. Uh, that I can get out multiple different sides. Now, this is gonna add some weight to the vehicle. But if I need to get out to the back, get out to the side, or get out to the front, I can do that. And then... Energy low. Full blocks here. Then we'll greeble it in. Uh, so we need five. Ah, we need steel plate. And we need energy again. We haven't done enough with the toaster tonight, so I'll use the toaster to top me up. And then I'll hit the, um, uh, survival kit. Do that. That makes for the neatest transition there. Um, now, are those actually airtight though? The solar panels. That's what I'm questioning now. Um, Five. Just for the sake of actually getting in here. Now. We look at okay, so it's hot, it's still hot. So that really doesn't tell me anything. Um, Put 
put this one in here. Yep. That's gonna come out. We'll actually just take that off. Those are still welded on. Now, I could have, seriously, seriously. Every freaking time. <laughs> uh, let me see. That and that. Now I can get up here from any side. I don't foresee myself landing this on a planet again. Um, but what my thought process is... Uh, Is basically if I'm zipping on through here, uh, give me something to like land in mag boot to. Like if I'm zipping past to get back into the ship real quick. If that makes sense. I was gonna say, don't tell me I'm out of steel plate. That's gonna be problematic. And then we'll kind of, uh, yeah. We'll shape that off. We have a rounded one. Rounded half block. Um, do, do. Not really by the looks of it. What I can do is under seven, I think. Might be one here that will work for what I want. Uh, not really that one. Probably six. Yeah, that'll work. Not exactly what I was going for, but it'll work. Uh, now nah, I should probably look at the the actual weight of the vessel before I get too carried away here. We can come in here and we can come in here, and hopefully that will keep this pressurized. Um, okay, so we're only ten megagram. Weird. Now, this part's going to get chopped out to go farther back in the vessel. Uh,
We'll just have to be in the habit of closing those. Um, is there a debug mode? Um, no. I was trying to see if there's maybe like a, um, a way to look at like airtightness. Um, That door is cow print. We don't want that. So, start grabbing some bits over here. We need a O2H2 gen. We need a survival kit. We also need batteries. That's one battery. Uh, probably going to need four, would be my guess. Definitely need a gyro or two. Or three. Um, that is a fully functional survival kit. Yes, it is. Cells, then I want to check in you. This gives me two large batteries. And if I can do this without really scavenging too much off of the crane, I would prefer to do that as well. We have... Forward, reverse, up, down, left, right. Okay. Uh, we need a hydro tank. There's the oxygen. Oh, yeah, the oxygen tank is full. Gonna use you. Oh, getting rolled into by that. Like, what is, what is going on? Okay, H two O two Gen battery, battery. Then we have Okay, need to move that with the um forklift. Get this over here. I was thinking about welding these on first, but then I'd be dragging it on one of them. Um, I figured that might be a bad idea. Because it's probably at that point it would probably be way too heavy to lift, so. I'm thinking I want to have four batteries. Maybe six. We're going to need a camera for spotting stuff. Go 
we'll get stuff uh, orientated that way so it doesn't roll away on me. Thruster. Now we might be able to get away with only two batteries on this where we have the solar panels. Uh, as long as we can keep orientated towards the um, towards the sun. We should be able to keep a charge going in space. Um, what else did we have over here? Ore detector, um, antenna, yes. Uh, and I think beacon as well. you go. Beacons right there. So here's my list of bits and bobs so far. Um, let's get the oxygen tank over there. Thing's super heavy. Low and steady. Get it up a little higher. Tipping our Yes, we are. Okay. There's that. Um, This is where I'm thinking I might need the help of two of the uh, Atmo thrusters. Because that tank weighs a lot. Um, six megagrams just by itself. So, Oof. that's going to be a lot of weight. Um, let me know if there's anything else that I'm missing. I definitely want to have more than one gyro. Um, do we have any more gyros? Any more gyros? I will need to probably steal some gyros. 
uh, off of stuff. And I'm thinking maybe a second O2 H2 gen. Um, and then we're going to need something for storage. We have two H2O2 gens, a uh, survival kit, two batteries. What is this? One solar panel? Yeah, one solar panel. Grab a medium storage box. Because the hopefully the goal is to quickly move up to large grid ships uh, after we start salvaging some of those. So that's the bits of parts. Um, Let me know if there's anything obvious that I am missing, that I am not thinking about right now. I'm thinking about maybe bringing the... Uh, maybe having a port to hook that up to. Um, we obviously need to get things... Piped in for oxygen. Oh, air vent. Yes, air vent. Maybe that's why we talk about stuff. Oh, yeah, we have the other battery there. Air vent. Air vent was here. Uh, don't know if I'm going to need a. Um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, a heat vent or not? I don't know exactly what those do. I don't know if those vent heat or if they provide heat. And we have this battery here. Should probably hack. Um... We have the battery on the back of the buggy of shame that we could take over, along with the gyro. Yeah, battery there that we have not hacked. Or did we? Yeah, we did. Um, we got the gyro there. Do, do, do. And then we'll need to slap a connector on here. Um, yeah, but that's where I'm going to end it because I feel like I'm forgetting something. But I can't think of it right now. Um, and if this is all I need... I won't have to scavenge anything from the crane or the flying toaster or if I wind up back down here. Um, I will still have a viable means of transportation planet side. And that's if I can sustain lift. Um, with that thruster. I may have to orientate, orientate myself so I'm in some sort of a ver near vertical uh, launch. Because I don't know if that one small um, hydrogen thruster is going to provide enough lift to get me even off the ground. But we'll see you guys back for the next episode. Give me any tips, tricks. Um, call me an idiot in the comments and tell me, hey, you forgot this. 
because I can't think of it. And if, if I have everything, give me the thumbs up. Tell me I'm good to go. Uh, have a good one.